you can access the Salesforce Optimizer from your app launcher. So I'm going to click on the 3x3 grid the app launcher to show you where that appears in view all. And down here at the bottom of all of my different applications, I have the Salesforce Optimizer available. And this gives you the ability to see how your org is doing as far as various security features and how you can optimize things in your Salesforce instance. So clicking on Salesforce Optimizer brings up the results from any previous run that you had of the Optimizer. You can do a fresh run of the Optimizer by clicking Run Optimizer here at the top right. And then in your results, you'll see things that are more critical in nature towards the top. You'll notice I have a couple here in my org as far as immediate action required. This is a free developer account, so I've got really lax security on this. In the real world, I would not have things such as my password never expiring or allowing unlimited attempts to log in, that sort of thing. So that's what some of these things are about here with user logins. And how you can address these different items are you can click on any of these links here and it will then take you to that particular section for what you need to do on the right-hand side of the screen and leaving this list view here on the left. So if I click on this first one here, it has results and then the data list and recommendations and corresponding guides as well. And then you can just click through and identify these things that are requiring immediate attention or other action required as well as an estimated amount of work and effort that's involved and so for those of you out there that feel like you don't have enough work to do and you're looking for things to do in your org or you're wanting to be proactive in improving your org security access and usage this salesforce optimizer could be quite helpful for you in order to get an idea of the amount of workload you need to do in order to get your org to a better place and so you can go through here and, and review these and that's the Salesforce Optimizer. It's a great tool that I encourage you to use at least once a month. And one other note, I had a notification about my results being available from the Optimizer, and you'll see this here. I hovered over the bell icon. It's saying that it's finished analyzing my org and to review your org's personalized results and recommendations, open Salesforce Optimizer. So not only can you manually run the Optimizer, you can also schedule the Optimizer to run. And so let me show you how to do that. So if you go into Setup and I search for Optimizer, I'm going to click on that. And this is the back end of the Salesforce Optimizer. We were looking at the front end, the end user experience, the app side of things. We're now in the back end in the Setup menu, more for setting up and configuring the Optimizer. And you've got to allow access to the Salesforce Optimizer. That's an app. It's an external app that needs access to your org. So you need to allow that access. You can always revoke that access by clicking here. And then here is the second step or second bullet point here is where you can do a scheduled run. Now you can run it monthly. In this particular instance, I can't run it more frequently. I'm not sure if in the real world, as far as enterprise level orgs, if you can do that more frequently, I believe you can. But since this is a free developer account, Salesforce does not want a drain on the resources that allow you to run that monthly. So I'm gonna schedule that to run monthly. And I'm not seeing where I can save that setting. So I'm gonna leave that on run monthly. And then I'm gonna go back here and then see if that persists or not. So this is turning into a Salesforce reaction video. Watch Mike Quiller react to oddities on the platform. And it, this is just not refreshing the screen here. So I'm gonna go out of the optimizer and then I'm gonna go back in. And it's not here in the most recently viewed but my search persisted so don't have to type and so it has persisted to run monthly so this drop down here from run monthly to no scheduled run is like a toggle whenever you select it it apparently saves that selection for you dynamically and persists across sessions so that's good so we are scheduled monthly then for the optimizer to run in this org and then you can open the optimizer from here in addition to the app launcher that I showed previously. So if I open optimizer, this then takes you to the end user experience. And here we are back on the results for multi-factor authentication. I actually have a video on preparing for MFA or multi-factor authentication, which is scheduled to be required February 1st, 2022. I'll add a link to that here as well. And then as always, for whatever the topic is, you've got some help articles here and references and resources as well. So check out the Salesforce Optimizer, strengthen your own org. And if you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe. Also, please leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn in Salesforce, and I just might make it my next video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.